Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the April 2024 update, or the past Tuesday, the B release for the month of April, which includes some security improvements and also all the features that were released on the C release or the optional update in the last month. As always, you can check out the article below for more information about how the main release works and what are the differences between the two builds that are released monthly by Microsoft. Now the build for today, or yesterday because I'm recording the video a bit later, is the build 2. 2631.3447 or KB5036893. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about briefly what is added, what has changed in this build, and if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. I will remind you again, don't forget that Microsoft updated the dates for the end of non-security updates for Windows 11 version 22H2 and the new end date is June 24, 2025 for the Enterprise and education versions and home and pro editions will receive non-security updates until june 26 2024 so i think is the best to upgrade to 23h2 i don't think there are any major issues i've been upgraded to that version for a long time and i've been using windows 11 with no problems as i've said this update includes all the features that were announced and rolled out by microsoft on the c release from the last month and basically those are the moment 5 features which are still slowly rolling out right now i think almost all users should have them rolled out on their system and a quick reminder that includes updates and improvements to voice access narrator windows share nearby sharing casting snap layouts copilot windows 365 and more you can check more info about that in the article below also as i've said this update includes security improvements so you can check all those in the official microsoft blog you're also going to have that linked in the article below in the video's description we're also getting the service and stack update 22631.3447 which will ensure that you can install microsoft updates easily and i think that is great and also there are no no known issues in this build and I think that is great if you upgrade to this build you should be pretty stable so this is pretty much all there is to it if you want to learn more about all the features that are rolling out you can check out the article below as I've said because those are the moment 5 features which we've covered in multiple videos and you can find more videos about that on my channel so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one I was Imani from TechBase until next time have a nice day